Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. Brett, where are we once again? In Brett's Brickyard Bistro with a mayor representing from Savertown. That would be me. <laughs> It's true and it's still happening, but Brett, why are we here today? Because it's not to cook. It, well, no, it, well, ish. We are going to cook a little yes, something, true, something because true. it's something that we have found, and especially in the, the groups on Facebook, people find this and they think, oh no, I've ruined my, my, my flat top, the ultimate, the Sierra, the nonstick, the ceramic, any other word you want to throw in there, Adam, <laughs> just feel free to do so. It's sticking. And what's going on? We are here to help ease your pain and show you that it is common, why it's common, and how to fix it. And the thing is too, is if you are here and you happen to have a cold rolled steel unit, a Blackstone or a Pit Boss or even a Camp Chef, we'll address some of the common sticking issues with that as well. But yep. we thought, man, what a great opportunity because for as many cooks as we've done, we still get some food that sticks, but we want to maybe show you why, help with some explanation of it, yep. and maybe a few remedies that will work for you. Remedy. Well, the time has come the day has arrived yes. we've got a very 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 special package yes the very special in fact it's so special you have to call it a package <laughs> this package, package or package yeah. um this is it the day that we have been waiting for for a very long time the better part of a year our cook well we're assuming the cookbooks in right. here it is from the quarto group the, so, the company that reached out to what do might this it be that, unless they gave us someone else's cookbook yeah. let's find out we are going to open this and see it for the first time obviously they sent us proofs we have shown you the cover what's yes. available on pre-order by the way on amazon but we actually have the first copy they right get in. it let's just open it so here we go let's uh, let's dig in as we say <laughs> that's right so i'm reaching in apps and it is okay oh, man. look at the book oh look at this Congratulations, Brett. This book looks great. Cheers, Todd. Todd oh, is so man. cool. I'm actually going to save this, right? I'm not going right. to I'm gonna try my best. Todd from it. the Quarto Group has been instrumental in helping this dream come true. That Thank means you, Todd. so much, Todd. I know you don't want to rip the paper, right? <laughs> All right, oh, there's the back. Man. Let's flip it over. Uh, there we go. Gosh. There it is in, in the flesh. The flesh and in all its glory. This is so cool. There it is. There's the back. Whoa, there it is in all its glory. We didn't want to give away any of our recipes. You're going to have to order the book. For that. <laughs> Oh, so man. there it is, I, uh, Adam and I are so proud. We're so excited for this and we hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget, it is available for pre-order on Amazon right now. Lately, we have been experiencing a little bit of sticking with uh, foods and so we figured, you know what, let's come out and show you just a real quick uh, demonstration. quick demonstration yeah. with an egg. We're gonna do it just like we normally would. We're gonna throw some butter down, throw the egg down. We're gonna show you how it sticks just a little bit and we're gonna show you how we fix it. Which begs the question, which came first, the butter or the egg? Yes, Adam. The butter. Did ah. you put the butter down first? Ah. <laughs> I, love, I love when Brett's so not impressed with what I'm doing. All right, so there's our egg. Now, this is on low, like we said, but even on low, it's a little bit hot. All right, so we almost had this backfire. Brett, what had happened? Well, we put the egg on and it didn't stick at all. Right. Not at all, but we flipped it and we think we might have some sticking now. Which, which is basically what happens sometimes. So as, you, as we see, of course, my egg, there we go. And this is a very little bit, but what has been happening lately is we've gotten full eggs sticking. Mm -hmm. And it's been might, happening a lot right here. And here's the, the deal. Thing. If you're cooking pancakes and you're getting half your pancake eaten up, that causes a problem. And so that what we kind of wanted to do is address the why of that and give some solutions to it. Yep. First things first, I'm gonna do what I do after every single clean. Once the griddle has cooled a little bit, I go in, I get some hot water, soapy water, and I get this little scrubber. Scrub, and uh, people pad, have yeah. asked, wow, isn't that a little harsh for this? You gotta remember, this this thing was designed for outdoor use, outdoor cooking. This is just fine. You would use it on your indoor non-steak. So yes, it is absolutely fine to do this. So I always come in and then I just really get down. And this is letting the griddle cool. Typically we let it cool a little bit more. It's still a little hot. That's why mm -hmm. we're getting a lot of that steam there. Yep. But, but I, 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 I spend more, pay more attention to exactly where the food was and really scrub to make sure that any of the, the little particles that you can't see are coming out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just get the rest of the griddle because we are going to be doing that, that quick semi quasi deep, deep clean, clean, if you will. So yeah, like Brett was saying, this is the first step is just doing this regular clean. If you do this, this is general maintenance. 
you're not gonna need to do the next step all that often. In fact, this would be this, uh, what we're about to do is only the second time ever Brett will have put uh, baking, soda. baking soda on this out of how many cooks have you done? Oh, at least 40 or 50. And the reason, well, the only, in fact, the only reason we did it before, we did those um, cheeseburger egg rolls in a uh, in the pan and some of the oil had spilled over. So we actually had burned on oil onto the surface. And so we used this baking soda to, uh, to, to, to really set in. We scrubbed it, it came right off and the surface was, was looking brand new again. So Perfect. we're just repeating that process. Yeah. Typically what it would be is we just wipe it down. Obviously there's still soap there. But it's just to wipe this down, and then Brett will get water on that. Yep. And rinse the soap. Rinse the soap. Rinse it, it in see. Soap it, 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 it. All right. She looks beauty. Yes, she does. Now we do know that this deep clean, that this cleaning works, but Brett has had a little bit of food sticking lately, even though look at how perfect this looks, right? Yeah, no, so every now and again, we will get some staining. I haven't had it too much on this. I have had it on my five burner, and this this step of the process, this process just helps take those stains out. Uh, some people I know will think of it as kind of like, oh, the cold rolled steel, how it, get, how it gets that amber color, so that's the staining, so it's normal. Not on this one, if you're getting staining, that is actually food, that is or oil, that is actually stuck to the surface and this will help pull that off and take care right. of that. And though, uh, so mine doesn't have any staining right now and so we're just gonna do a light coat, a light, a light version of this process just to get rid of any of those little food particles because I have been experiencing a little bit of sticking lately, especially with like chicken and uh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went and rinsed out my little container here. I put hot soapy, clean hot soapy water in here. We're just going to, yeah, I made it as hot as possible. And then we're just gonna kind of pour it down and then we will sprinkle on the baking soda. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so this is what we do. And it's really, again, this is just to kind of cover. And with the baking soda, you, if I've got some stubborn stains, I pile this in that area and we're gonna let it sit about 40 minutes. For this process, because we are just doing kind of a light dusting, just to kind of really pull off anything, we're only gonna let this sit for a good five, 10 minutes maybe. Right? Yeah, correct, yeah, not, right. not long at all. And some people are worried about, oh, it's baking soda, it's gonna be abrasive, it's gonna scratch and penetrate the cooking surface or the ceramic surface, and it actually is not. Now, some people think, oh my gosh, you're putting baking soda on that non-stick, that ceramic, it's gonna penetrate, it's gonna scratch. This isn't sand. We're not putting diamonds down, we're not putting <laughs> nails on here. It is a very soft, low abrasive powder that is going to just say, hey food, it's time to get all of you off. You gotta go home for the night. Well, you, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, all right? <laughs> so that's all we're doing. We're rubbing it in, and it's just gonna wipe it off, that's all. all right. So let this sit a couple more minutes, and then we'll wipe it down, and we'll have a brand new looking griddle. All right, so about seven minutes in. Yep. And uh, that's it. <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> Calm down, all right, get to work. All right. So I'm gonna just take this and just rub it in. Rub it and in. And he doesn't even have to press hard. Now, if we had stains, we might put a little pressure. Oh yeah, I would put but pressure this is and spend just time on it. Yeah. Kind of like waxing the car, I guess, at this point, right? Yeah. You're just kind of. That's right, and Mr. This Miyagi. Is just a, this is a, a kind of what we call a light deep clean. Mm -hmm. And this is just to renew and revitalize that surface. Mm -hmm. I almost look at it like conditioning it, you know? That's a great way of putting it. Yeah, just think of it like you're putting a, a layer of wax on the car. There you go. But this is it, this is what we're doing to restore this. And again, if it is a heavier staining or sticking, I would let this sit for a good 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. And now Adam, just real quick, <clears throat> I felt a little bit of tension right in here. I was gonna say, so that's I'm what you do. i spend can, a little time here. Perfect, so you know, and that's what Brett just said. You can feel it, you can feel it grab. So that's where he's gonna put a little bit more pressure. Yep. And uh, we should be good. And it's actually, now it feels smooth as. There you go, the rest of it. Yeah. A right. little more right here. I mean, it looks just like it did before, but Brett, Look, let's it looks fire like it, it came up. right off the showroom floor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> let's fire it up and let's cook another egg and let's see how this works.
All right, so while the griddle is warming up before we put the new egg on, we just wanna tell you that this process right here is not a suggestion from Pit Boss. Um, being that this surface, the ceramic nonstick, is new to the outdoor griddle game, if you will. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information on it, so Adam and I, mainly Adam, did a ton of extensive research on the best keep and care for ceramic cookware, and this is something that he found. We have used this time and time again. And so in Adam's research, this is one, one of the, this is one of the methods that he found that actually works. Just like everything has pros and cons, we found that this work, this method seems to work the best, and we have used it time and time again, and it seems to just really work. We've seen other people in the uh, Pit Boss Griddle community on Facebook, they have tried this, and they've had success as well. So as for now, and there's a lot of and, and there are, sorry, there are a lot of other mm -hmm. methods too that work. Bearing in mind that this is something we do very sparingly, this deep clean, but also there are other processes. In fact, there's others who have said, even with the, they've had so much oil stuck on, because like the cold grill still, where you want to actually season it, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, this though, this doesn't need a seasoning, and so if you've got oil really, really, really stuck on, there are other methods, including a vinegar and uh, baking soda mix, other things that people have used, and some pink stuff, a whole bunch of things yeah. out there that people have done. We're just showing what works for us. We want to explain why this is sticking and show the results. Here we go. So, coming back to the same area where I had my egg, laying, layeth the butteth down. Right, and so just like the last one, this most likely won't stick with the butter, but when we flip it, we would hope That's that we be have the test. better results. Yep. There we go. And if you get a ceramic griddle for no other reason than to cook eggs on it, we don't blame you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this right here is the reason for the season. If you want to have a lot of fun with eggs, take about four or five, maybe 15 eggs, scramble them up in a bowl, <laughs> use the, our secret ingredient, salt and pepper, and you can make the biggest omelet. See, look, I can now. He doesn't even want to think about sticking. Yeah, it, this thing is like, I'm thinking about anything but sticking is what this egg is doing. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Ooh, that is slick. <laughs> it was slick to get right away. Now, pull it what, off right here because that's yeah, what, what I'm going to do immediately right now is move it and show and see how it now, now it just pushes nice and easy and slides. And so. by the way, you'll get still a teeny bit of sticking. That's, sure. That's I, was, I honestly was expecting some and uh, and well, I'm super happy with this. Well, it's it, when we say sticking, obviously with anything, the food's going to stick by a little a little digging with the with the spatula and it's going to pull up. But we're talking about the sticking. Is where you get the where you do the spatula excessive sticking. Yeah, excessive just sticking. too much. Yeah. All right. This All right. Well, done. there you go. Easy peasy. Brett, move that around. So the, you could play hockey with this egg, right, right. across the surface. Look at that. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. I don't want to break the yolk though. So. All right. All right. Adam, our breakfast is served. Let's do it. So uh, we did mention also a cold roll steel, like a Blackstone, like a Camp Chef, I guess the lo new logo, anything like that, that doesn't have like a, a coated surface. If you're using oil to season the griddle and you're wondering why your food is sticking, well, over time that seasoning layer does either build up too much or it starts to wear in some areas and you do have to do a fix. We've got a video on that, how to fix it, how to repair it. We've also done a full resurface of the griddle. That's the nice yeah, part did. about the cold roll steel is you can shave it down and restart and uh, do what you need to do. And so basically it's just re-seasoning, making sure your, your seasoning layer is even. Mm -hmm. That's going to that's gonna be the best way to get it back to normal, back to where food is not sticking on it. And food sticking I think is one of those things with griddles that it frustrates people because we hear all the time, oh it shouldn't stick, regardless of what you're cooking on. And our experience in the three plus years plus the thousands of cook we've done, mm -hmm. stick happens. It, that, it stick happens, and you know what? You can move beyond that. Just trust your process of cooking, keep it going. Sometimes it's as simple as a protein that's sticking, and yes. it really just needs to finish its own process, and it will release when it is ready. So just try to keep that in mind. Don't rush the cook. Just uh, let it happen, and remember, stick happens. Just, but, have, a, just have a no stick attitude. Yeah. If it sticks, don't give a stick. Yeah, just keep on going. <laughs> there you, you like go. That? Is that a thing? I think it's a thing now. But we hope this makes sense to you and helps you understand a little bit more about maybe why your griddle is sticking. If you have other thoughts or suggestions, please post those below as well. We want this to be kind of a one-stop shop for people who are having some sticking issues that are looking for solutions, and we promise there are solutions out there. We're excited that we've gotten to work with Pit Boss on this with their Pit Boss Sierra 
and their ultimate griddles. We absolutely love them. And we've, we've had frustrating days. We've had a spectacular success. Like we say, there's nothing like hooking eggs on this thing. It's, it's, it's so amazing. Yeah, for me, there's nothing like hooking everything, everything on this thing. Everything on it. I love, and love, love. When, when given the opportunity to be inside or out here, I'm out here 10 times out of 10 right. doing that. And so we want you to be able to enjoy it the same way. Don't get frustrated. I mean, I'm telling you as we've gotten frustrated, the frustration's gonna come, but there are a ton of solutions out there. And we've done our research and we just wanted to share what we've learned along the way and what we've experienced and what has worked for us. Yep. If you like this video, if it helped you in any way, shape or form, give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to, the, link to that in the description below this video, right below the link to the Epic the Outdoor griddle cookbook which again we are so excited and honored to bring to yeah. you man i hope this all made sense and again if there's anything that we missed or more suggestions put those below Brett, aside from coming to come and share our vast knowledge our knowledge of griddle cooking and our love and passion for it what else do we do this because all we do is twin no, no matter what. what with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on